All right, we talked about the Winchester Short Magnums the other day. So today we're going to talk about the Winchester Super Short Magnums, or at least the first one, the 223 Winchester Super Short Magnum. 223 Remington, super popular cartridge. Obviously, Winchester's not a fan of putting Remington on their guns. Can you blame them? All right, they're competitors. What do you, what, what do you expect? Uh, that's not just a Remington and Winchester thing. That's who wants to stamp their competitor's name on their stuff, even if it's for a caliber stamp. I, I wouldn't. So Winchester decided we want to get more out of a 224 bullet by driving it faster, but still sticking with a very short action cartridge. They looked at a 300 Winchester short magnum. They necked it down to take a 224 bullet. And what do you know? Winchester super short magnum 223. They did some others, and we're going to go into them as well. Uh, there were some early concerns about barrel life. Uh, I would still have these concerns, but apparently Browning manufactured several rifles for them, and people grumbled about, you know, it's only going to last 300 rounds or so. Browning said that wasn't true. I don't know. Uh, just because of the velocity, I would definitely be concerned about barrel wear. Um, but there again, that's one of those things that you don't really know. Uh, because, because of the velocity here, what do you use it for? Right, uh, I wouldn't use it on anything big, uh, and I wouldn't use it on anything even up to whitetail size. Like I would use it on stuff considerably smaller than whitetail outside of about 200 yards or so. And here's why: 40 grain bullet stepping out at 4350. Yes, it's got close to 1700 pound feet of energy, but that 40 grain bullet is going so fast it's very likely to rip itself apart or overexpand, slow down, and stop before it hits something vital. Um, on a, on a bigger animal a 60 grain bullet at 37 and a quarter 37 and a half or so with around 1850 on the energy again same thing uh, i have the same concerns about 22 250 even though people take deer with those all the time a 75 grain bullet at close to 3400 with 1900 pound feet of energy i mean it's an impressive cartridge but again i would be concerned about these projectiles that weren't meant to be driven that fast are they going to over expand too quickly and stop short of a vital organ or are they just going to be going so fast they just rip themselves apart um and this can happen so for me i would stick to smaller creatures if i was going to use the 223 wssm for hunting uh i could see some uses for the cartridge uh again loading that m995 bullet in it because i think that would eat most armor for breakfast um just because of the velocity on it but there again that's not something most people are ever going to need to worry about. Uh, as a hunting cartridge, again, varmints, stuff like that, especially at longer range, it'd definitely be good for that. I wouldn't take it for a whitetail or anything for concerns previously stated. But if you've got a 223 WSSM, let me know how it's worked for you. I'd love to know.